keep it down over there. <laughs> All right, boys, you ready for it? Yep. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody, <laughs> welcome to Side by Side Blog Live, dude. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, today's episode is brought to you by Simpson UTV Products. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, not actually a sponsor yet, but <laughs> hopefully by the time this is over, they will be, dude. Huge thanks to those guys. Just well killing done. Well done. Killing it. <laughs> All right. Well, today's an interesting day, boys. Interesting, interesting day. Doug, what happened today, man? Yeah, you know, I think the first and foremost thing we need to talk about, uh, and probably a lot of you guys have been led here by the uh, main channel video with the announcement that, unfortunately, Frank has to leave us. <sighs> Tough break. This might be the right thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, uh, I'll i be honest with you. I'm heartbroken, man. I, uh, I fell in love with the Frankie unit. I did. Really did. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know... Uh, really does suck because this is the life and you know anybody anybody watching would just love to have you can tell by the viewers so yeah yeah we have a great great time here <clears throat> super Overall, good time it's a it's a lot of fun but also takes a lot of sacrifices takes a lot of takes a lot of work and uh you know it's a tough thing to keep going yeah. at times and sometimes life takes you to a place where uh this kind of gig just doesn't work out for you just doesn't work that does suck did Matt actually start the video? I really am nervous because I don't see a red flasher. Oh, no. <laughs> Matt, has the video actually started? <laughs> Just give a little <laughs> double check. All right, yeah. Matt, everybody, thank you, Matt. In the background. He's out there killing it. <laughs> I, I can't hear what he's saying. <laughs> Hold on, yeah. Wow. What was that? It says REC, so. We're good. Recording extremely cautiously. Got it. Okay. <laughs> We're good. So maybe just a just a brief history between us and Frank. Dude. Just to, just to kick us off here. Man, yeah. Where does the Frankie unit I mean, I'll be honest with you. I heard stuff about Frank before we ever saw him. Like Local especially legend. Silver Lake and all that stuff. Oh my gosh. Local legend national treasure, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. When was uh when did you start going to Silver Lake, Frank? Uh I mean, before I could crawl. Before wow. Okay. Long time. That's way before me. Back <laughs> in the doom buggy days. Okay, okay. My That's dad, sweet. My dad actually had a Datsun that had a, a S10 Chevy step side on the side or on it. And uh, it was on 38s and it had a Grand National turbo motor engine in it. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> back, yeah, dude. In, back in the day, he was the guy. <laughs> that, that was terrible. That was bad. So I wasn't born yet for that, but okay. I just wanted to bring that part up. And that was back when you could go out on the water. Oh yeah, he with the cars back yeah. out in the water, and he went out to like the third dune. I know a lot, only some of you are gonna get that, but the third, the third, uh, not dune. Um, like the third hill on the way in? No, on the water. In the water, there's like uh, levels. Oh, oh like, like a sandbar? sandbar? Sandbar, yeah. There you wow. go. Sandbar. What? Okay. Yeah, you could go, and he was like probably three hundred feet out there. Wow. <laughs> and there's <laughs> pictures. Far. So all you could get back then was pictures, of course, because this yep. was in the seventies. But um, <laughs> the truck started floating away. <laughs> <laughs> the like the the back draft or whatever they call that is the trucks. So yeah, they the started hooking trucks to it, trying to get it back up. And there was a picture of my grandpa in the back of the truck, like, oh, help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nuts, dude. Yeah. Man, yeah. So I, I mean, I remember seeing Frankie all over social media for a oh, long time. time. His name would pop up everywhere, and it was always associated with some jump or something wild he was doing out there. Yeah. And it's a unique name, so I remember. I'm like, I'm always seeing this Frankie guy. And, uh, you know, eventually we put two and two together and we realized that we'd actually been to Silver Lake and had seen him doing huge dirt bike yeah. jumps <laughs> You out had there. a, a button-up shirt and a tie-on? I did. What was the deal with that? I have no idea. <laughs> Just I think fun. I had the tie in my suitcase from, like, a prior wedding or some damn... I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that wasn't planned. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had no shorts way. on. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. But I don't it know. was, like, 900 degrees that day, so I wasn't going to put my full race suit on. Uh, I just decided to go put the boots, or shorts, and a button-up shirt and a tie, and we sent it pretty big. Wow. Pretty big jump that day. Yeah, I think it's that was 2017, uh, one of the first times, like, we were really starting to jump there a lot, and I was jumping my Wildcat, 
And then I followed you up a jump one time, and you were hauling, and my wildcat, you know, didn't make enough power. I was like flooring it from the end of the dunes, and you I just probably went, passed Tow. you going up the jump because you were too slow. <laughs> yeah, probably. You jumped so far that I'm like, all right, I'm done jumping. I'm gonna park and then watch this guy jump. And then you sent it big like two or three times. It's on video, like it's actually on video on a side by side blog video. And I didn't have a clue who you guys were back then either. So yeah, we were so small yeah. in 2017. So. Yeah, so then somewhere along the line, what would yeah. this have been, 2019, I think, when we moved into the Saginaw shop? Yeah, that was December of 19, right? So you reached out to us? Well, Doug summer-ish. reached out to the world yeah. and needed a uh, GYTR intake kit. That's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. That's what it and was. And it just so yeah. happened your race was two weeks before that. And I was sending a whole crap load of nitrous to my stock engine. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and she grenaded. So um, I had a intake set in there. And I said, yeah, Doug, I'm an hour away. I can come get it. So, wow. That's right. Yeah. So I it's came and I borrowed, yeah, I borrowed your intake for a while to get my YXZ going. Just so you could go down to Garrett's, I think it was. You were trying oh, to. Oh, was that the burnout? I don't think it was the mm. burnout. I think you were drag racing. That might have been. I think we did mm. both on that trip. We ran yeah, down the drag both. strip and did the burnout contest. Wow. Yep. So you were helping us out even yeah, before you could help us your, out. I had no idea that was yours. <laughs> yeah. Well, how would you? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's crazy. <laughs> there was a big nasty port in it for nitrous. That's how you knew it was fresh. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> direct injection, man. Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, that was crazy. It was uh, definitely a time bomb setup, but it just had a kill button. <laughs> <laughs> no jets, no nothing. Uh, no jets even. She was straight swirl. Wow. So, yeah, that kind of kicked it off, started to, you know, know Frank a little bit more, and then ultimately he ended up being the uh, hookup for getting us into the Saginaw shop. Well, yeah, yeah, that was the, I think that night or whatever you talked about, you needing more space or whatever. I'm like, you know, I got some stuff. I know some people. I know some people. <laughs> know some people, so. dude. That's always a good thing to know. So, uh, <clears throat> And yeah. then you got your new shop. Yeah, we yeah. got the new shop. That was pretty crazy. You were a dancing fool. Yeah, I was dancing for you. Little did you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you did acrobatics in that shop. You that did was a pretty big deal, it turns out. That was nuts. So if you really think about it, <clears throat> it was because of Frank. Yeah, Frank got us a lot of stuff that we needed many times. Frank was deep in the veins before we even knew. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then I, mean, you, I watched you guys. Then like, I'm watching for because I was had a turbo or I didn't have a turbo wax. I had my NA, and you can probably flash that clip up too where that got totaled. Oh, the white one. The white one at Silver Lake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't you crash into something? Uh, I mean, somebody crashed into me. We're going to call that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, is there a video of that crash anywhere or no? There is a video. Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure I've seen that. Have you seen that? I'm pretty sure I've seen it. What? Really? What? No. I landed on top of a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> That's you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. <laughs> That's the most Frankie thing that could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I've, uh, I've come across that video in and, my uh, research. So I hit, so the flagman like didn't see this Jeep coming up the backside of the jump. Oh my God. Because we were jumping in a non directional zone, which is a big no no anymore. Don't do that. Right. <clears throat> and uh, so yeah, nobody's seen this Jeep coming. And I'm coming up the backside. I literally hit it. And as I'm going off the face, I seen the flag. I'm like, what is that? Oh, no. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then I didn't even see the Jeep at all. I could see the flag. And it clipped the top pillar, like, of the windshield. It was real bad. It sent me in, like, a sideways spiral tumble. Were you in a stock cage at that point? Stock cage. Well, oh. I had my – it was modified. So I put okay. extra bars all over it. But, yeah, it was still stock. Wow. Um, That's lucky that you're okay. Literally, it wasn't even done rolling yet. And I was out of the machine, running to the Jeep, because I thought for sure I went right straight through that windshield. Like, yeah, very bad. But luckily, the Jeeps are very strong, and it uh, held its own. So everybody was safe. Wow. Didn't get yeah, a scratch on me, but the machine was totaled. So. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I forgot you had that white and blue one yep. before you got clapped out. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. you know, the, the time frame moves on. Frank uh, gets us a shop. He starts showing up more. Come springtime, we need a track, dude. Yeah, we and gotta have a place to rip. Right? Next thing you know, there is a full on like GNCC level track <laughs> well, you out guys behind had a, the shop. You guys went and got a skid steer. I told you you could do something back there, and then I kind of laughed at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, thirty six hours to make one jump. <laughs> you come back, you know, four days later, there's an entire track yeah. that you built in twenty eight minutes. It seemed like. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, shout out to you know Chad 
from who? What, what's that place called? AIS. Yeah, AIS? he got us that JCB on demo. That was a tight unit. Was we a, just we was. didn't know how to use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that froze it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was winter too. Heavy time wet clay. Mm-hmm. Wet clay is the worst thing to ever work with. If right. you're trying to do it with a little skid steer, it ain't ain't working. Right. Yeah, that was a sweet skid steer. I tell you this. I knew I wasn't building anything, but I'm like. Mm. Thing sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it, dude. So that that was awesome. And then we just uh, really went crazy with uh, the Gauntlet 2.0 out there and yep. set lap times, did stuff. Frank actually went out after hours and set lap time records that were better than ours, called me out. <laughs> we never really ended up crossing paths out there, fortunately for me. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a nuts time. And then uh, at some point into 20... I mean, shoot. So we basically moved in at the beginning of 2020, and then some way through 21, you were showing up a lot, and then you came to Little Sahara. That was like the first trip, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you guys invited me out there, and I'm like, man, this is freaking sweet. This is the life. We were that having a, a good nice time. time. That, that was a, good was a deal. very Fun good trip. trip, though. I hauled like. 2J out there in my own personal trailer. You know, <laughs> maybe a flashback of the uh, trip there. <laughs> <laughs> the roof ripping off it on the highway. <laughs> that did happen, that unfortunately. so it funny. Happen. 2J still has some uh, history from that trip, too. The one door, the decal, the wrap is all scraped up. That's from his trailer? Yeah, from because the, the, bunk bed, beds. the bunk bed frame <laughs> broke. <laughs> And let me I tell you, that. I'm never, ever going to fix that. No, <laughs> no. That we, stays forever. We got a new sticker and then just said, ah, screw it, dude. I don't want to do it. No. It's a, part of, it's a part of the machine now, so. Battle scars. That was an awesome trip, though. All that the stuff was. that happened, the big wheelies that we were doing, the big jumps we were doing, everything was badass about that trip. Yeah. That was the first time we ever all stayed together in, a, like, a Class A trailer. Yeah. And, boy, was that, it was like... Spring break for the boys. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that Stinky was place, but it was fun. <laughs> Stinky place, dude. We were all sorts of influenced. It was awesome. That dude. trip was so hot. It was like oh, yeah. 95 degrees. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Car yeah, overheated. Yeah, hey, you guys had a great place to sleep. <laughs> we offered you to sleep. In, I got my, I got, I got my yeah. own shower. I, ain't, I got a trailer. I got no roof. I'm sleeping in here. <laughs> uh, that was totally crazy. And then, good. yeah, I think soon after that, at some point, um, I approached you about about working for us, and I think it was during kind of a downtime with the construction that you were doing on the site there. Is that true? Maybe yeah. explain that better for yeah, us. Yeah, we were, I mean, winter, yeah. so we couldn't. We weren't doing the things we normally do, and just little things here and there in the shop. Everybody's leaving at noon, so at around noon, I'd just start showing up at your place, mm-hmm. and then uh, the old boss kind of caught wind of that and didn't appreciate that too much, so kind of soured things a little bit there and uh i guess inevitably 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 <laughs> <laughs> turns out uh he was uh yeah really not happy and then he started watching some videos that we do Ooh. and uh Ooh. that, yeah. that yeah. really mm-hmm. puts some more turmoil in the water uh yeah the I get fire it. I get it. so you know, we were happy to have yeah. you yeah so. <laughs> it's like a positive the si- that. there's a silver lining yep. to that situation yep. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good time though. So you started working for us, and I forgot when you officially started full time. But as soon as you did, it was pretty obvious. Like you were on like another wavelength of work than we were, because you were doing a lot of like manual labor, construction stuff. So if there's anything heavy to move, like uh, pff, you were doing it. This guy's going hard. He's going hard. Yeah. Forklifting. He's driving with one hand, dude. Drinking a forty-two here. Driving a fork truck here. Forty fours, baby. Forty fours. You thought it was a forty-two. What is this? Forty fours. Nineteen eighty-six, dude. It's a forty-four. <laughs> and then, yeah, then it was like COVID. So oh yeah. The forty-fours shortage. Had a shortage in forty-fours. Oh, so mad. Time. Yeah. I used to. I tried and save my cup, and then when I broke one, I got so disappointed. Because <laughs> yeah. the styrofoam cups is the only one that works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. True insulation. Uh, Granted, okay. we don't even drink 44s anymore. No, that's probably a good thing, though, for your house. That was a running joke for a while. Every day, Frank rolled in. He had a 44, 44 Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a crazy time. And if I didn't have one, you guys said, you should probably go up and get us all 40, 44s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never consumed more Diet Coke <laughs> than that summer. That was so bad. Uh, it's just something about fountain soda in a styrofoam cup. Being that big, that just... It's a good time. She hits different. Frank yeah, knows. He lived yeah. 
I mean, I was drinking like three of them a day. Oh, my that's gosh. too much, dude. That's that too much. I wouldn't say that. It's a lot uh, of ounces. So <laughs> that that brings us to Frank being on full time. Yeah, mm-hmm. full time Frank. And just the rest is kind of history for there. If you guys have been watching, you have seen it. We mm-hmm. have shared uh, a lot of adventure mm-hmm. in a pretty short period of time. Yeah, I think you'd, I mean, this is probably like five years worth of stuff in one year with all the trips. You know, we went to Glamis twice in a year. Who yeah. does that for Michigan? Like, unless you're going there for something. Unusual. Right? But we're yep. just going for fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a wild time. Uncle Chet, that was a great time. Dude, yeah, Uncle Chet. Oh, my gosh. It's, sometimes I forget you were a part oh, of all that. I forgot that. Yeah, yeah. holy the moly. Bear yeah. Jackson. Oh, my gosh, you were there for that. Holy crap. That's an extraordinary amount stuff not to mention you know this new facility this new mm-hmm. building this property right yeah which is sort of a symptom of you know the first uh issue we talked about maybe right frank coming on full time also meant yeah this maybe isn't our home anymore so a lot has happened in the last year seriously that's a lot of stuff and i think you know it's it's okay that kind of leads us into what uh you were saying in the in the main video doug with the cost of operation is high in a situation like this and you know given infinite money everyone would be living super comfortably but it's just not actually the case right right so yeah not to not to speak you know for frank too much here but essentially the situation we've run into is everybody's got different histories different life positions right and the reality with this operation is that it does take some significant sacrifices mm-hmm. to be able to do this um and that's and that's worth it if you can do it because essentially we are just having a great time all the time right it's a lot of work there's a lot behind the scenes that's difficult but there's a lot of freedom there's a lot of great things that come from it but you know realistically that means that none of us are killing it financially right personally so i mean <clears throat> especially with a little bit of an unexpected move right. uh, into a facility like this obviously huge right we went from leasing a 4000 square foot space a new building um where so many things are just taken care of yeah for you right the overheads very easy to understand it's very easy to control to wrap your arms around so you go from that to a 32,000 square foot facility on 14 acres that hasn't been in use for many years (laughs) seriously you know not only is the overhead just substantially higher to operate it you know the unexpected costs are extremely high as well so I guess I just say that to kind of explain that, you know, we're still absolutely in this transition period, making this huge move and uh, money's tight. And yeah. while money's tight, we're not paying ourselves no. much. And, uh, you know, not everybody can afford to do that. Right. Yeah. I mean, from my position, I'm fortunate enough to have a wife that makes good money and also supports my stupidity to a real fault uh but it you know got a truck got a few side by sides but you know we're all making the same amount some a little more than others whatever but you know uh, basically the same amount of money and uh i don't have any responsibilities outside of that i have a dog i think that's quite quite different than than you frank you got a lot going on definitely have a lot going on so yeah i have three kids so the uh Responsibilities are there, so right. You can't can't ignore that. Yeah, and I think you went from a job that was making a lot more um, with not much freedom to a job with tons of freedom that just wasn't making as much. And uh, it, this isn't as if you didn't try to make this work. From my perspective, you've given it every ounce of try that you could have. Yep. Yeah, this is uh, you know this type of operation. <clears throat> kind of becomes a thing where you're paid in fringe benefits in a way okay we're not writing ourselves huge checks there's a lot of great things that come along with it like the freedom like the trips you know that we pay for you know all the play toys but those things don't pay bills yeah at the end of the day yep so yeah i mean it's it's as simple as that 
you know mm-hmm. the the math just isn't uh isn't adding up for frank currently he's got more you know personal financial responsibility in the background uh than the rest of us do and in this period of time um there's just not a heck of a lot we can do about that you know we're pushing as hard as we can we're trying to get this place up to speed um but there really honestly is just not a uh, mountain of youtube money <laughs> that no. we can that we can pull from right. out of nowhere so and i guess <clears throat> we could explain that a little bit more cuz that's probably sure. you know on the surface when you look at some of the stuff we do and a lot of the things that we have around here it m- might seem as though we're just rolling in cash at all times yeah if um, you look at uh, like Say for instance, Whistling Diesel. I'm sure everybody knows who that is. Yeah. Um, his his views are a million in a day. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be. He's making tons <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> that's, you know, quadruple what you know we're, you're pulling in. Yeah, and I think too, if if you look at his operation, you know, this isn't to speak for Cody. He's a friend of ours, really, actually, a really good friend, um, personally. But his operation is smaller than ours. There's less people. There's less building. Right. He's definitely buying badass stuff, and the stuff he's building is more expensive than what we're doing. $35,000 $1, shoes. <laughs> yeah, that did happen. That did happen. But, uh, you know, likely his monthly, I guess, recurring costs are less than ours. This is big. This is a big operation. There's a lot of people. And, I, and, you know, from the beginning of what we did here, it was always a means for all of us to come up. It was never like, you know... I'm going to get rich recording you guys. You know, it was never like that. So it was kind of we all come up together. We float in the same pool. We all go up at the same time. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes that pool is just not that deep. <laughs> it takes, I'm on. I'm touching still. It takes some time. Yeah, yeah. it takes some time. So, yeah, the you know, without getting too into the nitty gritty, it, it seems crazy, but the reality is our, you know, monthly overhead just to – have this place to keep the lights on, to keep everybody paid, to make the payments on the things like the trucks and the side-by-sides we do have financed, and to make our lease payment on the dyno and to pay the utilities. Tax bill. The tax bill, just stuff that is coming at you every single month, not including repairs and projects and trips, just very baseline, keep the lights on. It's 30000 bucks a month. That's insane. It's a lot of money that adds up. Yep. Adds up quickly. She's a big beast. It takes a lot to fuel the beast. Like right. <clears throat> it's easy to I don't know, it's easy, easy to overlook all that stuff. It's a loose unfortunately, side. Unfortunately, yeah, like you know, everything we make we just put back into this building. And everything else we've always done, I think, but Yeah. It's I mean tough. there's there's a reason why at the end of every video Doug's actually thanking people. That's yeah. a re- <laughs> well, I mean that's a huge portion of what thirty grand a month, dudes, yeah. come on. <laughs> Like, thank you for watching, please, because everybody's contributing in their own way to this. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's like you're on a seesaw. Yeah. Like, half of it is pure fun and enjoyment. Other half is... Stressful. It's got to be stressful. Super place. stressful. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Yeah, and I think, you know, the main reason to bring this up now and, and, and go about the way we're doing this now is... Uh, you know, we do love Frank and we love yeah. what he's brought to the group 100%. here. And uh, it's a real, real shame to see him go. And we're just wishing him the best. And, um, you know, personally, we all know what he's going through. And um, I know he's a talented guy in everything that he does. It's He's never actually failed in anything that he's done. Um, it's just a circumstance that's gotten pretty crappy. So, but yeah, like the times you've put the dozer on top of a smart car i mean there was only one guy for that and that was you <laughs> pretty pretty much the cra- yeah i mean i hardly did <laughs> <laughs> we all thought the, you were dying cra- yeah i thought it was it. i was like well this was fun it was a good ride Let's look at this i was yeah i've in my day never seen a man drive a bulldozer on a smart car the way you drove it it was what you call unreal <laughs> <laughs> yeah very it was scary nuts, dude. that was crazy well, yeah, there's just <clears> – it <throat> turns out I like you a lot, Frank. Uh, at the beginning, I'm like, I don't think Frank <laughs> likes me or anyone here. <laughs> turns out he did. Uh, I don't think Frank liked me, but that's okay. No, he told me yesterday he still doesn't. But <laughs> <laughs> that's, un- that's, that's understandable. 
<laughs> I tried. Uh, we're just joking. I, I tried my best. Yes, yeah, kidding. Leo's a good American. It's hard, it's hard you remember to Remember when you uh, out-hucked me in my own car? I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? Glamis. Glamis. Uh, I didn't drive your car in Glamis. It's 160. You didn't drive 168 for oh, half okay. a year. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen, dude. That did happen. You didn't want to do it. So. Yeah, you're not wrong. You I'm, did a great job. Yeah. It's good memories, dude. I just had a great time with you. Pretty much Pump everything. Pump brakes! <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Something about that car. She likes yeah. to pop the front end. Dude, she's a pumper. You got to pump them brakes. <laughs> pump the brakes. <laughs> yeah, that that was crazy. That yeah. was crazy doing that. And all those times where those things were happening, I'm like, man, this guy friggin' rips. Yeah. Dude, this guy knows what's up. No fear, it turns yeah. out. That's well, real. I mean, there's fear, but I came from a pretty good background, and I, I can understand things. So it's a little bit different than you guys because you didn't grow up doing what I did. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, we we literally used to put like um, rocks on the backsides of jumps. Okay. And I would hit the jump one time and see where that rock was, and then if I couldn't land within like two foot of that rock, the next jump, I would have to keep trying, like, so that way I had control of what how to come the situations I was in. Oh, I had and to make oh, I get myself do it. Yeah, that's pretty to, wild. Yeah. Well, this was a training exercise. So, yeah, yeah for you know, people that don't know, you know, yeah. Frank is a uh, pretty experienced motocross racer, snowcross racer, has done a lot. I would a say expert. Level. I'm saying expert. I'm calling it. I've seen you ride, dude. I, we, I mean, back then, yeah, that was pretty good. But I never went to actually get my license or anything. So, but I did make a lot of money. Hey, that's good. You <laughs> that's can rip. Local races, that local races, <laughs> that's so. You can rip. You can rip. Yeah, so I think moving forward with you, man, you really just uh, you kind of need to get back to into doing the things that you were doing. Like you're a, you're a whiz with heavy machinery. We all saw that. And every time anything needed to get moved or driven, you had no issue driving it. It just seemed like it was second nature. Like some of these machines with 15 knobs and handles and all this stuff, it was just when you're in it. So that's is that kind of what you're looking to do in the I mean, future, up, or what? Grew up a farm boy, so that's natural nature, I guess you call it. Okay. Um, d- is that what I'm looking to get into? Possibly. I mean, I do love and, and enjoy that kind of thing, but um, I guess we'll just see where we can go from here. I mean, obviously, there's lots of things to do. Um, I just want to pick pick something that's actually gonna give me a you know a future and a Basically, a good retirement, I guess you'd say. Sure. So. Yeah, that's something that de- we definitely sacrifice going into this. There's, I don't know the future here. I have no clue. I have no retirement. <laughs> this is, <laughs> you have a vape shop, sir. Cowboy stuff. <laughs> There's only so long you could vape, dude. <laughs> Speaking of that, <laughs> uh, I can't even go. It's been 28 minutes. Seems like eternity. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, this is st- this is still a cowboy operation here for sure. 100%. I mean, we're out here sending it, and there's always light at the end of the tunnel. We're always growing. There's always good things, good things happening. But you know, the more you grow, the higher the costs get. The more you're having to reinvest. So, I mean, we're still uh, we're still hustling yeah. overall to right. make it work. Right. I mean, it's a hustling game, dude. You yep. have to keep on. Yeah, you have to keep putting your neck out there, and like everything you do is sort of a risk. You don't know if. Anything's gonna work. We just we bought this building. Just we don't we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> this is awful. There's some pipes right here like, that are literally scaring me. These is, things are huge. This should have been made like this is made for like you know NASA, dude. This could be a shopping center. <laughs> like, these are not you know this water. What are the, <laughs> you don't even know what no at. human being is ever gonna need any of this equipment and now we're in charge of it this is bad it's not good (laughs) this doesn't make any sense but yeah if this was a situation where we could look into the future and say two months from now four months six months from now like things are gonna be totally under control we're gonna be making all this money and we can all make a bunch more money and we could say frank just hang in there a little bit longer right we do it but the reality is you know it's a month-to-month operation yeah i mean youtube in general is just a it's a gamble you never know I mean, I hope you guys don't ever get tired of us. That'd be sweet. But you never know. You don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know any. We don't know anything. We're just riding the roller coaster, and, like, it's been a hell of a roller coaster. It's yep. been wild. For sure. Yeah. You know, but. 
it will continue know. to be a roller yeah. coaster into the foreseeable future. Yeah. I think. So. Yeah, I think trying new stuff is probably the most important thing because every time we've branched out and done something new, it's typically done pretty well yeah. in terms of reception from the fans. And uh, what do you mean these snowmobiles are actually doing good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Here's the deal: them. you retired on top, dude. You yeah, one big jump yeah. next day. I'm out of here. All right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I think that's a smart way to go. It's who's gonna than, run that, by the way? Who? What? That pro eight hundred? Zeus, I'm looking at you. <sighs> Maybe with like I don't know, two, three more years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a pretty good sled for you. No, it's a sweet sled. It's a Polaris. I mean, in my mind, that's Frank's sled. So, what are you gonna do? That's a good point. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna hang it up on the top. Nobody's gonna be able to use it. Uh, hmm. We'll just keep her. We'll just keep her safe for you. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. some comments on the last one that uh, they want to buy clapped out 1.0. So. Clapped out. Oh, the sled? That's yeah, going to that that's gotta go in the museum, dude. <laughs> if there's a museum, it's going in it. It's right next to the the leftovers of Beast Mode. <laughs> yeah, there's a museum starting on the other side of Building 3 the last time I drove around there. I saw some yeah. mud life. Uh, uh, archaeological digs. <laughs> mud life, Beast Mode, Wild Horse, the YXZ, the XRS DS is still sitting over there. Actually, none of that stuff's there. It's there's all an, gone. This place is completely bare. Anyway. An Odes over over there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a graveyard or junkyard. I, I don't know. But museum. It's dude. a yard of sorts. <laughs> uh, it's a holding facility. Anyways, oh, man. Yeah. This isn't like, you know, obviously we're not trying to be doom and gloom here talking no. about the, you know, insane costs of doing something like this. The yeah. overhead's incredibly high and all that stuff. Like, we're, we're forging ahead. Yeah. We got this. But the reality is you see all this stuff and you think must be rolling in money, and that's not the case. It's just Heck we're spending no. all of our money on this stuff to keep doing this. What's yeah. that meme or meme? The, the meme for what? Must, must be nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> must, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, there's a, we could have sold out a long time ago and made a lot more money, but I think that's nope. so short term that it's not actually worth doing. Like, there was many times we could all be driving Polaris's or Can-Ams or CF Motos or whatever the hell, but that's not who we are, and that's not what we do. Right. Yeah, there's too many to drive one type of machine. Yeah, yeah, we have to be completely original and not influenced by outside companies. But, hey, if you guys uh, want to play Fishing Clan, do <laughs> or whatever the hell those yeah. games are. Yeah. <laughs> Some games are cool. Pretty much every game they're going to pay us to promote, not that yeah. cool. The yeah. games that I'm trying to play, they ain't trying to pay us. <laughs> no, <laughs> trying to pay them to, to play yeah. it, dude. Uh, Here's my code for my Apple ID. <laughs> oh, face up. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that's a weird thing. So I guess just to put it out into uh, the universe here and let you guys um, – do with it as you may. Frank is uh, needing some some big stuff, and he's a he's a big time guy. He's the hardest working guy I've seen yep. uh, out of this group by a pretty pretty wide margin in terms of ability as well. The guy can do anything. You're a pro behind many different moving items, <laughs> dirt bikes, skid steers, loaders. I like motors. excavators. I like mo I like big motors. He likes the motors. <laughs> Uh, so if there's something out there in the Michigan area that you guys have and you want to hang out with a good, reliable dude, Frankie Unit right here. Go. He's your boy. That's it. All right. Thanks, guys. Means a lot, man. We're going to miss you, bud. <clears throat> you going to be gone forever or you going to stop in once in a while? I mean, I live a mile away. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a good point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe people didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so it's like five miles, but whatever. It's 25, 25 miles. 25 miles, dude. <laughs> Mike read time is 25 minutes away. <laughs> no, it's five minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys, you know, you'll see Frank again. Yeah. But uh, This isn't the end, end. I'm just not uh, full time. So Yeah, I still want to see you around. And uh, if you put on any races, I'm going to try my damnedest to do good at them uh, this time. We never really ran together, which is crazy. I don't know why that happened. Your stuff was broke. My stuff was broke. It just didn't really work out. But is that when you're putting on an event, it's really hard to race your own event. So, Good point. Very yeah, true. true. We've been there. Very true. But if that does happen and you're racing, just let me know. Call us up. We want to I mean, support just you. Just let you know, I did whoop your ass around out there. <laughs> Boom, got him. In a stock X3. <laughs> Boom, no tune, got him. Wow. Was that the same day, really? Was, was that the same literally day? The, literally 10 minutes after you just told <laughs> me how fast your car was and how much of a cheater car it was. 
conditions are way different. <laughs> in those, in the, track, the track was actually worse. After Humidity you were done with it. went away. Your car was running way better. All dude. right, Frank. See you later. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that did happen. That's fine. Um, but if you do put on a race or whatever, uh, I do want to be a part of it because we want to support you, and I think that's important. Um, support people that uh, have supported us so much and that we're really going to really gonna miss, honestly. Going to miss seeing you. I like you a lot. Going to miss all you guys, too. Like This was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, this sucks, man. <laughs> it's life. It sucks sometimes. No doubt about it. <laughs> That's a good sound effect for the moment. It is. Though. Where's the? Yeah. Are the first ones still on? There? Oh yeah, the. <laughs> I don't know. Do we do it for a second? <laughs> oh, the voices. Yeah, just one no, second. Like that one. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, just to maybe lighten the mood. Uh, is this a good idea? <sighs> just a little taste. Give us like okay. three. You can talk me out of it easily, but uh, okay, so this is a Rodecaster Pro. It has a lot of different features on it. One of the features is a pitched up voice, and I'll be honest with you guys and the audience watching, we have, uh, and listening, by the way, because it's going to be available all over the place. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, We've spent hours, seriously, many hours, like tens of hours talking to each other in these voices. I like them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys ready to do it? I feel I'm so. Can we just for a minute? Wait. Just hit the button. I mean, there, is there cut there? Is what? this a, a clean podcast? <laughs> what can it I can I say? I don't think kids are going to be downloading this. They could be watching on the Garage Channel. Never know. Let's just keep it PG. Okay, because those you say those voices, weird things happen to me. Uh, yeah. mm. Sometimes you start saying yeah. some stuff. Mm. Okay, cool part is, is Leo has yeah. the ability to like beep. Oh yeah. yeah. You're gonna I have that. You have to beep the whole thing. <laughs> turn what, it on, just turn it on. What was that, Nick? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's take us in. Uh, <laughs> oh, you want to take us in? <laughs> Let's, hold on. No, hold on. no. This is this Look is where it. I need to be. There's this something about you. Okay, hold on. Let's take us in. It's really. Ho- <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Side by Side Blog Live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frank's retiring. Oh, oh, that's not good. And we're all sad about it. <laughs> I just want to sleep. It's so hard to tell who's talking. Yeah. It's basically the same voice. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to try to make it a voice deeper. This is so weird. You got to talk like this. You got to go like this, man. I can't go you know, like that. Anyway, right, um, we, should, we, we should probably get out of this immediately. We're going to be here for seven hours. Do the deep one real quick. Do the deep one. But deep just imagine one. if people just kept watching. You know, Let's well, just weird. play it out a little bit. Just keep do it the going. deep one. We're already in it. Just give it a minute while we're in this it. This is dude. the fun one. We'll just go to the deep come one. On, it's so hard just, not to talk. Just, just go eat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just hang out for a minute. Just hang out for oh, a little bit. Just see what it feels like, man. <laughs> this is so stupid. Frank, w- what was your favorite memory with us, bud? <laughs> <laughs> I think we already just did a video about this. My favorite memory. That was 2022, oh, 2020. though. I'm oh, talking that's all time. Mm. It's a new year. Right. Mm. Mm. There's too many of them to yeah, choose there, from. There's just... There's no way you can do that. It's too much pressure. It's the pressure. Oh, and yeah. The pressure. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The pressure <laughs> is too high. <laughs> okay, the uh, only reason that's hilarious is because we were recording our first sound bite. I'm like, or Matt was like, one of us, like, all right, Doug, you, this is our first sound bite. You really got to do a good job here. <laughs> and I said, okay, recording. And he goes, oh, no. The pressure <laughs> is too high. <laughs> That was not planned. Yeah, not planned yeah. Then we got what the Frank. The third one? Oh, the third one is uh, idiot. That <laughs> was me. That was you. It yeah. sounds like you, but I think that was actually Mike Reed. Nope, that was me. That was you for sure. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. him for sure. I don't remember. Night, me and Doug spent mm, fifteen hours on it. Oh, bro. Right. We've right. all heard about that. <laughs> In me anyway, <laughs> man. I want. <laughs> Unfortunately, my favorite Frank stories and favorite Frank moments just can't share. <laughs> you can't share the, the good Frank moments. Oh, no, come on. They're nah. not They're not appropriate. Matter. Not appropriate. Inappropriate. I'm an appropriate kind of guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all sophisticated and everything. He's sophisticated. Mc- uh, McCated. I'm an important kind of guy. 
<laughs> Let's hear that deep one real quick. The deep one, you ready for it? Oh, this is Robot Man. Oh, yeah. Wow. You got a fucking dirt in that man. You can't swear on this, dude. I thought you said we could. You can't swear. Kids might be watching. Hit me the beep. It's too late. Oh, it's too late, dude. Suck his dick. Suck. Oh, Frank is leaving, and we're all sad about it. Boo. <laughs> Not helping. Okay, let's get on. Yeah. Oh, that's well, his back. That was a fun Woo. experiment. Turns out. I thought that was Matt talking <laughs> for a minute my eyes were closed. That was Nick Seuss. Wow. Yeah, too much pressure. Yeah, so it's moving forward, much. we're going to have three cameras on this. We uh, This whole thing was happening pretty quick here, um, so we didn't have three cameras ready. But we'll have that soon. Yeah, we, we, we tried today. We definitely tried. Couldn't find a switcher locally. Dang it. Yeah, what so are you going to do? Podcast setup is going to have uh, significant improvements going can, into the future. I can hear the just, buzzing coming from the transformer behind us. Bad plan. Dang it. Mm, Didn't yeah. think that'd come through. Temporary setup here, but it's going right. to get better because we have a lot of fun doing these things. And we like the opportunity to talk about stuff in a little yeah. bit more detail that you just don't, you know, you don't share in a main video because it's too long. It right. takes too much time. Some people might find it boring. So I think some people will like this, though. So you're I saying agree. when, like, we go on trips? I go on a trip. I'm gonna be able to download a podcast and listen to it. Yeah, yep. yeah. Well, it'll be on Apple I think Music. That's how they work. I don't know. I've never been a podcaster guy. Well, if you have Apple Music, I think it'll be available on that. Yeah, they have no. They have their own podcast. Actually. Whatever the hell it's Whatever. called. Whatever. Yeah, you just go on there. You download it. It's fun. Yeah. No, crap. it'll just stream like no Joe Rogan. Fooling. Mm-hmm. No fooling. I've heard of Joe Rogan, but I don't know how to listen to him. Joe oh, okay. Rogan, we're coming after you. Dude. <laughs> it's not true. I'm calling you out, Joe. <laughs> calling out Joe dude. Joseph, it's me. It's, <laughs> it's me, please. We shook hands 2009. <laughs> I did. Did you really? Oh, yeah, you got a picture with him. Uh, I do. Yeah, I shook his hand. They were about the same size as Frank's hands. Terrifying. Big hands. Huge. Scary. Hmm. I got a real funny story about Frank's hands. Oh, let's hear it. What Frank, is that beeping sound, by the way? My uh, batteries RC battery for my battery UDR charger. are done. Matt. Oh, Matt. That kind uh, of he won't hear us. A little bit of a, you know. You're cutting all this anyway. No, I'm not. This is raw, dude. This isn't going to be like this is the this is long long video. Raw. It's like a six hour long video. 42 no, minutes. It's only 42 talk. minutes. Wow. A talk time. Mm-hmm. What's, your, what's your Frank Hand story? Oh, man. Yeah. Frank one time says to me. <laughs> Yeah, look at my hands. Farmer hands. I'm missing all my knuckles right here. <laughs> I go, oh, it's crazy. What happened? You should have seen the dude's face. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with farming? <laughs> <laughs> well, because they're all cut up for one. <laughs> I think I get it now, but like, I was kn- just. The knuckles are in different spots. It's a great story. <laughs> yeah, it's also another story we can't really talk about. He's got, <laughs> got great stories. Yeah. I mean, the good thing about Frank is he's actually a good dude and uh, great person. Brought a lot to the channel. He burned, I would say, like twice as bright, half as long. Yep. You know? Yeah. So, how many GoPros am I at now? You broke three. <laughs> oh, right. That's not bad. Not a big deal. <laughs> no. We've still never actually lost a GoPro, believe That's it or not. Incredible. Yeah, we did. When? When? On the freaking water. Oh, we did lose So, a that's GoPro. probably four then. I'm. <sighs> Oh, your, your head cam head when cam. you were driving my CD. Yeah, when yeah. I went through the water and my everything went. Yeah, <laughs> it all went black. Huh? That one liked to cut into the water, yep. into the waves. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep. right I was trying to do it. So. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you happens. never broke a big camera, and I've done that, so you got that going for you. Yeah, yeah I've never broke one either. Hmm. Yeah, same. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I don't know what it has to do with the amount of handling. You, I was thinking there was a story there, but apparently it makes not. me think of one of the early uh, early videos when you had that little. Was it a Sony? Oh my! Yeah, it was four hundred dollars, dude. Yeah, and Nick Seuss just stood right next to a mud puddle while you were blasting. Cooked it. <laughs> it. That was an HX fifty. That was a great. That was camera. your fault. What do you want me to do? Yeah, that was one hundred percent your fault. If you stand near a mud puddle, and it splashes on the camera, that's not the driver's fault. That's the person recording. Let's rewind. Oh, wait, as oh, evidenced oh, by Let's Drummond rewind. Island. Let's rewind. I thought you were... Be- no, you he were was recording me. I was recording him. My oh. instructions. I don't know this guy. I just listen to what he says, which I know better now. <laughs> this was years into our He's, friendship. No, it wasn't. Know this no, it guy. wasn't. You were still in the Art Wildcat. He says to me, go, uh, go to this pedal. 
I'll stand right here. I'm going to fly by. A super cool shot. I go, okay, no <laughs> problem. Mud Tidal Wave comes by, <laughs> and then he stops and blames me for being in the spot that he told me to be. <laughs> Dude, you broke the camera. I didn't know there was a freaking mud hole right there. Uh, okay. That's why you told him to stand there. But no, because it was a cool whatever. jump, and I landed in the mud. Check out the look at the wildcat. I must be jump. thinking of a different video. This was a long time ago, old video. Long time. Logging Saint trail. Saint Logging Helen. trail. Yep. At the, you know. Before the highway. Before there. the highway. Logging trail. Before the dip at the yeah. bottom. The dip. Yeah. So another thing, uh, you guys, you yeah. love Trail Six and all. Yeah. Ooh. There's Helen. a lot more trails up there. <laughs> I don't believe it. I I believe it. Of habit, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a lot more cooler spots. Just nah, saying. Not for us. <laughs> I don't know, man. I believe him. <laughs> I think he's right. I actually went up there uh, with my friend Scott a number of years back and drove all over and found a lot of cool stuff. So he's totally right. Then I went up for a ride one time with Chris. Were you there on that one? Chris. Green. For the No. Nope. Sullivan. Chris Sullivan. I was not. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. We drove all sorts of stuff. He took me through the skinny stuff, popped my brand new Terra hook. Dang it. I looked like an idiot. She was Terra cooked, dude. <sighs> Terra cooked, yeah. No. Yeah. Tough break. Super tough break. Yeah. Oh, gosh. And the sand area up there is hard on machines. I'll tell you that. Super hard on machines, <laughs> especially if you're a... I won't what? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, same hell it treated me right, dude. A lot of throttle. I don't think I've ever broke anything there. Maybe belts. Many belts. Never broke anything at St. Helen. <laughs> I think... You're just a sissy. We did some math. Didn't like 17 rides get ruined by my wildcat? Like literally? I think it was 19. 19 rides. Yep. yep. Back in the day. That was green cat times. Were you around yeah, for no. green cat? Thank goodness I was not. <sighs> Dodged a enough. big bullet. I suffered enough. I will. I don't think you ever was a green cat. What year? Wasn't your cat orange? No, yeah, that orange I bought that white. from someone else. Yeah, so I you sold you it to my buddy. Orange cat. Wh- who? Mike. The green, the orange one? Mm-hmm. He blew it up immediately after. Yeah. That was the best running thing I ever had. That was the best wildcat I ever had. That one was. The green and black one, yeah. It really? was the best one, yeah. No, I think it was orange. Oh, I yeah, didn't wrong. I say, Oh, yeah, orange. Sorry, orange I don't and know black which one. one it was. In Wait. my head, I'm saying green, orange is, is coming up. He just recently found out who you were and who he bought that from. Was he pissed? <laughs> Once he found out, he was like, Rick. He treated it right <laughs> back then. He used to take care of his stuff. No, I have dude, Wildcats. No, no, no. no, that's a roll of the dice. Many video clips of that car trying to m- go up a very unsteep hill. Yeah. And me and my brother just sitting in my 900 just laughing. Oh, yeah. Yep. I never showed you that. It's probably for the best. <laughs> so <laughs> when I can take it. So what year was that? Um, I So I bought my first cat in 15, so that would have been 16. Oh. Then I buy could have bought a Yamaha. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Well, Doug had a Yamaha. <sighs> he they didn't were have too it expensive. Yet. At that point, I still had yeah, the Maverick. OG Mavericks. Yeah. I bought that in 14. Yeah, yeah and then, but and by then the time you got your YZ, I think I had gotten my black the one. black and orange. Gosh, I don't remember for sure. Yeah, I think Neither. I got the YZ. It had to be in 16. Yeah, something like 17, that. 17, actually, yeah. I think. It, it was still under warranty, though, yeah. when we got it. Yeah. When did uh, the Razor 800. S or R come out. 12. 11 or 12, yeah. 11 or 12. So well, it must maybe have been a 12. Because anyway, the S, though. The S was, I think, 12. It was an S, mm-hmm. yeah. I think two. So I bought that thing from a buddy of mine. So it was had to have been 13. Yeah. Or 14, maybe. And I just remember going, this thing is garbage. Like, I'll never own an R side by side ever. Hmm. Like, they were, you it was that, that bad. I mean, I had, we had videos of me going around my motocross track thinking, Thinking I'm going to do something cool, and every time it's like, ring. <laughs> well, yeah, this guy's coming from dirt bikes, yeah. you know, racing motocross. Yeah. So I, I took it to the early side by side. 800 so. S. I took it to. And the, I thought I was a monster truck. I took driver. it to the like, dunes. It actually, once? changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I took it to the dunes once. I'm like, yeah, I would rather drive my pickup out here than drive this. <laughs> what? Thing. Yeah. But I had an 800 dude. horsepower pickup, so I. She had five. A little different. Shocks, dude. Frank lived the exact opposite life that we did. <laughs> Oh gosh! Eight hundred horsepower. Then the YXZ came out, uh-huh. yeah. and I said, "Yeah, I gotta have one of them." Yeah, YXZ was too. It was really cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. super tight. Yeah, mm-hmm. SD mm-hmm. dude, super tight. 
Chargers. They had some better suspension. Don't we all, brother? <laughs> I can't say it. that. So. Yeah, your suspension's you, about as good as it gets. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're fine. I've never, you're I've fine. never felt that. <laughs> you just need some ball <laughs> joints. <laughs> don't wish we had better ball <laughs> joints, boys. <laughs> Might have that taken care of. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, oh, I've seen some emails floating around, dude. I've seen that as well. <laughs> some email. Anyway, Frank, so what's the future hold for you machine-wise? I think that's probably something we should talk about. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I have clapped out, and uh, there's an X3 setting down in the yonder. Oh, there is. Still there. Yep. Present. Not, not sure what's, uh, what, what the future holds, which one's going to be around for me. I feel like clapped like out take, is uh, like you, but the X3 is really what you need. I, I, yeah, everybody needs an X3. Yeah. Sorry, players, guys, but he Nick knows. First time he drove mine, he goes, he couldn't even say the words. <laughs> it's I don't think it's, that's true. It's, I don't need one. It's legit. <laughs> it's they're the same machine. Like you said, they get you there in the exact same spot, same time, basically. It's the seating position. Yeah. Yep. Hey, different strokes for different folks, right. bud. Some people like sitting up. Some people like laying back and driving. Yeah, you know, that's true. Yeah. You know? Well, well, I hope yeah. to see you in that X3. As long as you're going to keep ripping, you know? That's yeah. the important part. Yeah. It's a good yeah. point. Don't disappear from our lives, Frank. That's yeah, that's I'm really what I'm trying to say. I also... I'm going to uh, delete my Facebook, delete my Instagram, delete everything. You need you to know are? your passwords for that? Yeah. Turns out you can't do that. <laughs> so how can people follow you, then, in the future? Kidding. Oh, <laughs> no, no. I mean, that seems serious to me. I don't know. A lot Sometimes of serious you talk. Sometimes you gotta do that. Yeah. 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 So if I don't you even know how to delete my Facebook, like there's no button. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you to. It's buried deep in there. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't want you. you to do that. You can't. I mean, there's a button for logging out, but you can't just freaking hit done. Nope. Ain't in the cards, bud. Ain't there. <laughs> Not what she's made for. Nope. They need to listen to you. The most you can do is block people, and then. You know how hard it is to find that same person that you blocked? <laughs> you can't. You got to go deep in there and be like, okay, I can be friends with this guy now. Well, you can't because you got to find him. Mm. It's pretty they hard block to do. them so uh, good that you're, they're removed yeah. and then you forget. Social media is crazy. Never it's had that problem personally. Social. <laughs> made for media. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think it's media made for social. It's media made for social. Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Media. <laughs> Might meet medium. I pretty much, I'll tell you what, I, I hate Facebook. Why I also you? hate Instagram. Why? They're just useless to me now. What I still you, have uh, them. Are That's you a pretty rude. Tick ticker or what are you? Huh? Are you a tick ticker? No. All right. Just none of it, huh? None of it. I just don't like any of them, but I can't get rid of them. <laughs> you uh, got like almost your yeah. 10, 10k followers on Instagram. I know, but I mean, I don't understand it. I don't do anything on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I post one picture every two years. I have three followers. I didn't even know uh, you had one. I have to find. I'll nobody look you can up. find it. You it's can't. impossible to find. You can't it's find whatever it. is. Uh, I can't even find it. It's a. I, it's I, not I as YouTube. It's not as YouTube handle. Oh, it's not. No. What? So. What YouTube handle? Uh, I wouldn't worry about that too well, much. That's not, not even my it. YouTube. Yeah. Someone else's YouTube. Someone else's. Yeah. I'll it. crack the code. All right. Really, well, guys, he's just got like nine thousand YouTube accounts, so it's all him commenting on everything. So yeah, nobody else does it. <laughs> it's all <laughs> views too. <laughs> Seventeen thousand computers at home running at one time, dude. Watching I know shit. that's uh, why the price of CPUs are so high. You set them a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're broke too. <laughs> <laughs> so much, I knew something has been happening. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> all these packages are coming from weird places. <laughs> oh, yeah, I put it in that TRX out there. <laughs> Didn't sell that, by the way. I kind of want to share this story yep, yep, uh, on the social story. media here because it's funny. Um, man, I guess I don't know the best way to share it other than turns out when you're trying to sell a TRX, everybody buying it is just trying to sell it also. Yeah. Which kind of makes it confusing. Yeah. Because I just want it to meet a person that wants it and then right. that they will buy it for themselves. Kind of right. like how I was. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I uh, oh, got some money from a 401k I cashed out and I can get a loan. Look at that. I want it to. Oh, there's one. I'll buy it. That does that person doesn't exist. I don't know why. I can't find that guy. Mm, so, I have an answer. Or a woman. That, but or yeah, anyone. Person. Well, what's person. the answer? I don't want to tell you. Oh. Put it on Auto Trader. Yeah, the people on Auto Trader buying yeah, it are resellers. They're, they're like they're representatives for other dealerships. <laughs> yeah, that's who I'm talking to. It's All okay. These no, it's, okay, finish your story. 
Super annoying. Anyway, I was waited for like a week for this guy to come from Illinois. I'm not going to talk crap about the person because the dealership has good ratings on Google. Pretty weird. But he's uh, dealt with Cletus on a deal, and turns out it didn't work out well either for Garrett. And so in my head, I'm like, if it didn't work out for Garrett, why would it work out for me? That's kind of weird. Turns out it didn't work out for me. The guy showed up with uh, what could have been fake checks. They're not certified. And he expected me to take the check have a 10-day hold on it, and he just drives the truck off into the sunset. Nay, nay. I said no. Not into that. And then he threw a temper tantrum in my vehicle because we <laughs> ran it together driving through the... <laughs> That's pool. a tough break. You have awkward. to set the story. It's too long. I don't want to tell it. I heard it. It's a long story. It's, it's entertaining. Just... Real entertaining. Maybe not the place to describe it. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> well, that's the, that's the highlight, though. Yeah. You go through a large amount of work to... Make this transaction that's yeah. very simple. You go buy a vehicle, you bring money that is certified in one way or another, whether it's cashier's check, certified bank check, wire transfer. There's lots of things you can yeah. do. You show up with a form of payment that is not certified and won't clear. Likely will spot. bounce. Yeah. Then you're probably not going to get handed the keys to a very <laughs> expensive yeah. vehicle on the hopes and dreams that in a week and a half you'll get your money. Right. Not how it works. Not how it works. So that was a huge waste of time. So if anyone's trying to sell something cool, you're probably going to run into those people, turns out. Didn't know that. It's the first time having something cool. So watch out. Tough market. Look out. I bet you put your smart car up so somebody give you some money. You know, the smart car is just going to remain in my driveway for a while. Is that the right thing to do? What do you want to do with it? <laughs> sell it. <laughs> I kind of like looking at it. I like looking at it. You know what? Uh, You know what else is in here that people don't like looking at? What's up, man? Say it. No, just say it. Don't look at it. They can't see. The camera's not moving. No, there's a Jeep. That's going away this week. Everybody chill out. All right, cool. (laughs) Leo's got a graveyard of vehicles. He's got more vehicles than any of us. And And there's a wagon. The wagon. The least number of functional ones. (laughs) When I first met Doug... The tag on the the mess or the the name thing it said oh master of faster was his name, <laughs> and then it had a little picture of him with a truck doing a friggin' dune pole with big paddles, and yeah. under that it said whoever dies with the most toys wins. That was your tagline. Wow, that guy's been Man. holding that for so long. And here I am I don't with even. two excess cars. I don't even remember that. And all we of a sudden, I'm a piece of crap. Two excess cars. Hold on. A wow. Jeep. Hold on. Wait okay, a and it, three excess cars. Fifty percent more. I was wrong. Anyway, whoever uh, dies with the most toys wins. Okay, no wonder he's wanting me to get rid of him. So he has the most toys, and I'm he wins. Trying to win here, dude. <laughs> I see Playing the that. long game. Oh. You have uh, a couple toys. You have a truck. You have an excursion. What else is there? Yeah, stuff works, though. So what, dude? The wagon <laughs> so runs. So what? <laughs> Top Dog, baby. I like Top Dog. Hey, it turns out uh-huh. if you have toys and they're in your possession, that's a bad deal. For what? Court system. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, maybe going back to some... <laughs> going back to some uh, more... <laughs> not so... <laughs> Don't want to have too much stuff. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have too much stuff. Whoever dies with the most toys gets screwed by the court system. <laughs> That's what the court yeah. should have been. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, bud. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, let's just take a picture of this dozer sitting in the yard. Oh, he owns that. No, he doesn't own that. But the court thinks they do. Oh. So that makes this person worth a lot more money. Because you have a dozer. I have a dozer sitting in the driveway. This Man. is just a, an insight into what's going on in Frank's <laughs> life here. Yeah, the story is obviously long and deep and painful. But Giggity. Anyway, Gosh, break. Dang it. sorry, man. Sorry, I'm sorry we did this to you. What I feel you, partially what, responsible. What did you do? I don't know. I just can't. It's just too friggin' expensive to run this place, dude. <laughs> we can't all get rich like I wanted. Yeah. <sighs> keep working on it. But. Well, yeah, we'll keep going. Um, but it's not a, it's not a, it's not a goodbye. It's a, what do they say? It's just see a, you later. A see you later. Bit. What's the full phrase I though? Even... See you around. Mm, that, that's like, no. Take care. That's like, <laughs> bye-bye. See you another time. You're done. <laughs> I'm all set. A sayonara. Uh, sayonara. All right. No, not come right on. Hey, whoa, hey, <laughs> whoa, Frank, whoa. Uh, we could get off this though. Yeah, we probably, we probably should. I think we've, yep. uh, you know. 
We've we covered talked it. About, yeah, talked about yeah. the situation. Yep. This expensive operation, we can't pay ourselves a ton, and Frank needs more money, so he's got to go back to his roots a little bit and uh, get into something where he can really rake in some cash and straighten some stuff out. In the meantime, we'll be here just doing what we do. Yep, yep, right, right. And, uh, you know, hopefully maybe explaining the details of uh, some of the finances of the operation, you know, helps you guys understand what's really going right. on. And at right. the end of these videos, when uh, we're saying thank you for all your support by watching and buying the merch and buying the parts and buying yep. through the Rocky Mountain link, um, help guys helps you guys understand that is very genuine. And it does take all of those things coming together to keep this moving forward and moving up because it is incredibly expensive. It's expensive, uh, but it's really cool, and I still think it's very worth doing. Yeah, so very much so. We're still going to be here for a while, Frank. If you want to pop your head in once in a while, you'll know, maybe springtime comes around. You want to build a little track, you get the itch, you know, feel free. We Please. could use we could use the help. Please, Frank. We could use some dirt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So no if anybody's problem. got some dirt around here, that's true. I mean, dump uh, away. <laughs> we could find some money for some dirt, maybe. We'll see. We'll Dirt's dig up expensive. some dirt, see if there's some money under what there. If we it ain't even the dirt. dirt. <laughs> it isn't even dirt. the dirt that's expensive. It's hauling the dirt here. Right. Like, that's right. a good point. Freaking $5 fuel. Yeah. 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 yeah, it adds up. But, hey, if uh, anybody can offer something to Frank that's going to help him be in a better position, um, hit us up, dude. You guys know the email. Sidebysideblog.com at gmail.com. Michigan only. I would imagine you're not looking to travel, right? Uh, the options are vague at the moment. Okay. It's so. open-minded. Yeah, it's okay. open-minded. My kids live in Mississippi, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're all over the board, dude. <laughs> I'm East Coast to West Coast. Yep. Frank Unit. East Coast, West Coast, Frankie Unit. He <laughs> is a cool guy. Yes, he is. <laughs> See, this is so. This is what happens when we get, especially on the high pitch voices. Right. Just start singing. Like, Go. Oh, yeah. Okay. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Three hours later, yeah. we're still going. Uh, yeah, it's bad. I <laughs> I came here to work on the quad with Mike like two nights ago, and I brought dinner. I'm like, dude, we'll just eat and we'll just you know talk on the podcast rig. Two and a half hours. Yeah, it's ten thirty. I'm like, I gotta get out of here too. <laughs> Everybody's mad at done. me. You got nothing done, right? Um, let me think about it. We ate McDonald's together and bonded. <laughs> There's value in that. There's value. Mike Donald, dude, he's a good guy. <laughs> Mike Donalds. Uh, I'll end it. I'll call it. Thanks right. for everything, Frank. We do appreciate you. We. Uh, this is how this is how you leave a YouTube channel, and I'm I'm glad. Uh, we're going to be friends after this. means a lot to me. Yep. Thank you. Very much yep. so. Me too. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Thank so. you, Frank. That's it. Bye. <laughs>